it's disappointing. Um, I, I thought we were in the game there, and I got out at, the at a bad time. And it's actually something I mentioned now in the, in the post matches. Through, throughout their innings, they they were never they never had two new batters at the crease, and that was part of our game plan tonight. And unfortunately, Hash and I got out within two two three overs. And it's always difficult on these kind of decks where it's, um, it's a bit slow, it's a little bit of reverse swing, ball's getting softer, ball's got a little bit green, difficult to, to see it. When you get two new batters at the crease, you're always gonna, the run rate's always going to slow down a bit, and that unfortunately we lost our way there. So it's, it's pretty disappointing that we couldn't get something going again then. But um, you got to, with Hash, I'll, I'll, I'll have to take responsibility for that, two of us. I think the fifth bowler... Didn't go for too many today, picked up a couple of wickets. It includes myself and <laughs> a few others. Um, I, th I think it worked out pretty well at the end of the day. On these kind of wickets, you, you do tend to get away with with a fifth bowler not being a, a full-time bowler. And um, extras through too many and little basics we got wrong, I think cost us the game today. Uh, if we chose 290, 300 max, we could have could have handled it a lot different. Um, we would have approached the whole situation a lot differently. and. Um, Hash and I could have maybe just taken our time a little bit more out there and the guys to follow. So unfortunately, we, we lacked a little bit there, I, th I feel. We did chat about it. Um, uh, after about 10, 15 overs, there was a quick discussion between Russell and myself. And we both felt that we wanted to take it deep, um, exactly for the reason that what happened there tonight, we got bowled out. And ideally, you wouldn't like to have that. When you're going really well. Um, with my experience, I'd like to push myself down to make sure we, we still have a chance at the end. And um, so it, it, there was a discussion, but no, we, we both felt that um, if I could be there after 40 overs with a top order batsman, we've got a good chance of winning the game. And I, unfortunately, I couldn't be there at the 40th. I think he sprained his knee a little bit. Um, we'll just assess that again uh, over the next, well, day <laughs> and, um, and see what it's like come tomorrow night and make a call maybe the, the morning of the game. Luckily, it's another day-night game, so there's a bit of time for him in two days' time that morning to recover as well and to assess again. And um, I, I'm not sure how serious it is at the moment because we, we haven't had time to, to really assess it properly. We'll have a look at it tomorrow. I think that's the nice thing of us, uh, about us touring here um, and, and getting five games in in different conditions all the time. It's, it's complete opposite conditions than, than what, we, what we got in Perth. Um, it made the toss a little bit more important. We would have liked to bat first today, but um, by no means is that a, an excuse at all. But uh, um, now we know that coming here, batting first is probably the way forward. Put pressure on the on the team batting second. The ball gets really soft towards the end of the innings, and um, it's just nice to yeah. So it's it's very nice to be playing here and going to Melbourne next. We'll also be playing there and, and, and finish off in Sydney. So it's it's really ideal preparation for us. Moving around the travelling time as well. Felt a bit fatigued yesterday after the long travelling time from, from Perth to here. So just to get used to all of that and to know what to expect in the World Cup is going to be really important. It's a long tournament always and uh, if you get little surprises like that, it almost it takes a bit of energy out of your performance. And now we know what to expect, which is, which is really nice.